Hello and welcome back to Rotary Craft. So I wanted to actually try and get more into it this time. Um, and yeah, and I want to actually talk about some of the resources you might need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into, uh, I'll put it in cheat mode, but I'll also put it into survival as well. Um, that way you can look at the um, uh, resources that we're going to need. Um, yeah, yeah, I could turn this stuff on. Turn the music on, and then we'll just put the sound a bit lower because sometimes the uh, noise of the, uh, uh, the gears and stuff is, is, is kind of like a hum, but probably don't want that too uh, too loud. All right. One of the good items that we can get is the work table. So the work table is is um, going to be useful to get. So as usual, we can't see the recipe unless we go into recipe mode. Um, so that always, I mean, it always seems to happen. This stuff. There we go, finally. So yeah, now she suggests to do it in the uh, work table. Um, but to do that, we are going to need some steel ingots um, and some redstone bricks. So how about the blast furnace? Let's have a look at the recipe for this. Uh, okay, so that's something which is fairly simple to make. So let's grab one of those. Um, so yeah, so we need to get some steel. So what we can do is we get uh, we get a, a, a lava floor. Yeah, so many floors, aren't there? I can't even tell which one is lava. Well, actually, you can because the only. Hmm. Anyway. So we put this lava floor in there. And we'll put the blast furnace on top. Invalid or missing items. Does it need coal? No, it needs iron, doesn't it? To make it into steel. That's what blast furnaces tend to need. Um, so we can put in some iron, maybe. So info. Made to make, to make steel. Simplify carbon in the form of coal. <coughs> All right. Um, Uh, carbon, coal on the left, gunpowder on the bottom left. All right. So coal, gunpowder, and sand. Okay, so so this is going to go in there, I guess. So this is the the main the main block. Is that the correct configuration? Might not have been. Gunpowder bottom left. No, have I done that wrong? Sand at the top left. Yeah, sand at the top left, sand at the top, gunpowder's at the bottom. Yep. <clears throat> no, he doesn't accept that. And I believe, and I believe, <coughs> just need to wait for it to warm up. You probably do, actually. Yeah, 600 degrees, wow. All right, so it can make bedrock dust as well. And it has to be warmer than that. So I assume this is just going to keep on going up. All right then. So, um, hmm. I'm going to be doing some magical crops soon as well. All right. So there's there's uh, so there's a blast furnace anyway. This is going to uh, turn into steel, and I'll I'll check on it uh, check on it in a in a moment. All right. So yeah. So it hasn't done much really. Next thing needs the bevel gear. So look at that. Uh, it's only one of them. So let's uh, look at the recipe if we can. Shaft unit and so I think everything makes this ace H L S L A in after after check what that it stands for. So this is not gonna do much. But yeah, so you need a shitload of steel basically. 
I believe all you do is you just use this to, to make the stuff to go around the corners. Ooh, that looked a bit more interesting there. Let's get the old transducer out, see what's going on with it. Hmm. Nice. All right, so we're now um, we're going to uh, proceed to put down the electric engine again. Need another lever. And we're going to need some uh, wooden shaft. Isn't that what's called? Yeah. Low. So I guess this stuff is useful to know, but probably it's probably realistically it's probably not hugely useful in terms of um, uh, you know just seeing how everything works. Let's get rid of some of that. Yeah, that is actually an ingredient for um, the pina colada, uh, which you use to get to the uh, tropicraft dimensions. What is this actually doing? This thing. Should we, I wonder which way is the input. Hmm. Well, I guess we can just play around with the. Um, uh, we'll get the screwdriver as well, and hopefully it'll start making sense. Maybe we can actually find this in the handbook. So I'm going to do the same as what I did in the last episode, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that that, that coal works. I'll try it in a minute. So we want to do the. Yeah. I don't know what I've been using so far. So there's no changes to the torque or the speed. Uh, that's what I'm using here. Lossless energy trans transmission. Hmm. So then I guess we'll have to look at the numbers there. And this is what we've been using. Yeah. All right. So let's just, uh, let's just do the same as we did before, see what happens. So we'll probably want to come in. Uh, I guess we'll just come in there and then go out there. And we're going to try and transfer this power all the way if we can. All right. So we're going to uh, grab the uh, screwdriver. Uh, we don't want it. There's the output. Uh, going to put the uh, wooden shaft here. Uh, there's the output. And, and we'll do that. There's the output. And did I get the... Uh, no. I think that's just how it works. I'm not quite sure what is. there's so many more things on it. It doesn't seem like anything different is actually happening, but maybe. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this work table anyways, what um, we can do with the uh, steel from here. I wonder if that's actually done yet. Pretty close. I'll check it in, I'll check it in a moment, see if this works first. So then we need the, did I actually go, there uh, we go. So we'll put this in, uh, we'll just make sure we're getting stuff there. Doesn't seem to be turning this thing. This thing must be not, not, not working. Oh yeah, I see. So I want it like input there.
No, this is not this is not power in there at all. I wonder why that is. Wait a minute. What's he saying to do with these axes, I guess? What does it say on the um the transducer? I think this is actually doing something this time. Power's being received from none. Out besides Z minus one. No, this is X there. Hmm. What does the transducer say? Hmm. Maybe, maybe it just doesn't receive from that way. Well, we just rotate it then, I guess. It doesn't seem to be rotating. I don't know why it's still going. That's strange. Alright, it has stopped. It must have an internal buffer. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. All right. So you can actually see all the different sides here. I don't think this is actually changing. It doesn't look like it, does it? No, nothing's actually happening. Whatever I do here. It looks like it's changing, but I don't think it is. I think there's just a little animation on the actual picture. And that's what's actually changing. Well, toggle down for them. All right. So what we're going to do then is we're going to. I wonder if we just. Yeah, we can open it with any item. So if we look, we can see we we want the input to be yellow, and we want the output to be. Hmm, there seem to be three colours here. Maybe that is orange though. Yeah, it is orange. Output is orange. Input is yellow. That's how it's going to be. So we'll do that. Um, input is yellow, output is orange. Then we're going to correct this thing. I don't know, I probably shouldn't have that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll create this as well. Cause... Okay. So the bevel gear has got a interface. Uh, and that's how this stuff is going to go around corners. Alright, so I guess just before I end it, I should just check, see if this is done it doing anything. Oh, there we go. Just did something. So now this is hot enough to do stuff. And we get the HSLA steel ingot. Oh, this actually there's an achievement system. I'll quickly look at that as well then. Hey, yeah, I forgot about the file landers. Hmm, quite exhaustive. Okay, so... Lots of stuff to be getting on with. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go through... Um, wow, is that possible? 
That looks pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, a lot of stuff to go on with, um, and I'm going to do that. So, yeah. Uh, until then, uh, thanks for watching.